uh, welcome back everybody. Uh, um, it's been a while since I've done a 3D review, and as you can see, it's a review of a Rob Zombie suit. Um, this is my second uh, Rob Zombie CD I ever picked up. Um, I now have, let's see, now I have the greatest tape. Past, present, and future. Mm -hmm. so this will be this. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've got four uh, Rob Zombie CDs. Um, I love Rob Zombie. Um, his movies are alright, but his music is better. Um, I haven't seen Lords of Salem yet. Uh, I heard it's trash though. Um, but a lot more people hate uh, his version of Halloween, which I personally like. Yeah, big surprise that I actually like that movie. But I do. Not, uh, definitely not as good as the originals, though, but I liked it. Um, but anyways, uh, it's been a while since I've done a CD review. And I figured it's a good time, so why not? I'm going to review how Billy looks. As you can see, there is no parental advisory uh, sticker on this. That's because I bought this at Walmart. I'm no longer buying Rob Zombie CDs from Walmart. Uh, I know they edit their CDs, so yeah. I figured, uh, well, it's a Rob Zombie CD, and I always thought that Rob Zombie never cursed in his music. That was until I heard his. CDs uncensored, and uh, growing up I always heard uh, his music censored, so that's why I thought, hey, he doesn't curse in his music. Well, then I heard this CD, and it's got, uh, let me find it. The Ballad of Resurrection Joe. I pop the CD in. Uh, I listen to the whole CD. Then it gets to the Ballad of Resurrection Joe and Rosa Hoy. I I think that's uh, the full title. I could be wrong, but I'm not entirely sure. I know whore is in the title, uh, but. I like the song, but <laughs> oh lord, they edited the song and I'm just like, what in the hell is this? I will uh, eventually pick up an unedited version of this, or uncensored. But I don't know if it will be anytime soon. But anyways, uh, here are my thoughts on it. Um, this video is going to be pretty short because it's a CD review. There's not much to talk about when it comes to a CD. Um, so it's not going to be too in-depth. Um, I liked the CD. Uh, not one of my favorites, but it's got my all-time favorite song on it. I actually have three CDs with my favorite song on it. I have this. I have this, which is my all-time favorite Rob Zombie CD. Um, and I have a Greatest Hits CD. Mm. This is pretty much a Greatest Hits CD, too, but, um, see that right there? If I get my fingers out of there, see that right there? I got this from Amazon, and yeah, it's on Um, 
of course, paint the wood rather than everything. <sighs> so I am lining it is 2.58 in the morning, so 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, but I figured, hell, why not? Um, well, I got, um, Greatest Hits CD of, uh, Rob Zombie, and it's got, uh, some questionable songs on it, like, it's got, um, More Human Than Human. I always heard the song Uncensored. I always heard the song Censored, but growing up, uh, I never knew it was censored because when I was a little kid, I didn't really, I didn't think about it much. I, I never heard the term uncensored songs. Uh, now I've heard of uncensored. I've heard of uncensored movies, uh, because, hell, I watched a bunch of movies on Sci-Fi Channel and regular TV, like, uh, not Nightmare on Elm Street and whatnot. Well, I never thought music was censored. That was until I heard Marilyn Manson, Beautiful People. And oh lord, was I, I was stunned, let's just put it that way. I love Marilyn Manson. Now, as a person, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I heard he's nice, uh, and he's pretty and damn intelligent, too. Man, that, you want to talk about a smart singer? He is really intelligent, so yeah, uh, I've seen interviews with him, but anyways, uh, off topic, um, we're talking about Rob Zombie's Hellbilly Deluxe, so let's get to this. Call of the Zombie intro, um, so not too long, mm, it's alright, a good intro to the CD. Um, Sherry Moon, uh, this is before she's called Sherry Moon. She's called Kitty Moon. And she pretty much is saying, um, for the night of, uh, something, the zombie did call. And I'm just like, okay, cool. Um, and then it go, goes right into Super Beast. Now, Super Beast is my all-time favorite Rob Zombie song. So, let's get into this CD. Super Beast. An all-time classic in my eyes. Uh, pretty much what it's about, it's about uh, a car. Super Beast. And... Every time I listen to this song, I get all giddy, um, I sing along to the song, and I absolutely adore the chorus. Um, it actually yelled it up. Let me get to it. Pretty damn cool artwork, too. Let's find it. I know it's in here somewhere. Here it is. It's got the chorus to uh, Super Beast. I will show off the artwork. Um, damn cool artwork. I love Rob Zombie. Uh, Rob Zombie uh, CD artwork. But anyways, it says, Hey, yeah, I'm the one that you wanted. Hey, yeah, I'm your Super Beast. Um, I love that. Um, for the longest time, I always thought he said, Hell yeah, I'm the one that you wanted. Hell yeah, I'm your super beast. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, I always thought it was hell yeah. But, uh, it's a pretty damn awesome song. 
Um, I'm not going to sing any of his songs because I immediately murder his songs. But I sing along to this song every time it comes on, be it the radio, uh, a CD, or a music video. I sing along to the song and I make a fool of myself every time. So I, most of the time I sing it alone. So, yeah. Super Beast, amazing song. Um, for those who have heard it, they say, hell yeah, it's a really great song. Most people's favorite song from Rob Zombie is uh, Living Dead Girl. I, I agree, it's a great song. Most of his songs are awesome. But Super Beast uh, was one of the first songs I ever heard. And by God in heaven was it. Ugh. Let's say if I was a girl, I'd always listen to it. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, Super Beast, amazing song about a car. Rob Zombie talks about cars all the time. Um, so, that's, that's a good start to the CD. Then we get to Dragula. Ooh boy. Dragula, another awesome song. A lot of these songs are amazing. Now, here's artwork of him talking about, uh, the track drive. I will read it. Greetings creep, the time has come to venture into the loathsome depths of my morbid melodies. Scratched onto these gruesome grooves are thirteen rules, revoltingly rancid tales of terror. I call this Moreau's monster piece Dragula. Now I love Dragula just as much as uh, Super Beast. Now, I'm not saying that it's, uh, again, my favorite song is Super Beast, but Dragula comes damn close uh, to Super Beast. Again, it's about a car. What car exactly? The car of Herman Monster. Uh, now, the monsters growing up is my was and still is my all-time favorite TV show. Black and white, I don't care. Um, it's an amazing show, and for the kids out there who didn't grow up on the show, watch it. If you're into old-school monsters and everything, like the Frankenstein monster, uh, Dracula, Creature from the Black Lagoon, um, the Wolfman, he'll surely enjoy the show. Um, it's a comedic version of those monsters, uh, but anyways, uh, Herman Monster had a car by the name of Dragula. And uh, if I had a picture of Dragula, hmm. I'll find that son of a bitch. Up oh, here we are. Ooh. Here we are. Dragula. Uh -uh. Gonna try to get it as close as possible without smashing the camera. Um, that's Dragula. And right there is Rob Zombie. As he's called in the game, Mr. Zombie. Um, Twist Metal 4, the most hated of all the Twist Metal. Mm, I still think this game is awesome, but it's Oh, the plot is horrible. 
and I can understand why this is the most hated. I didn't think of it growing up, but looking back now, yeah, this this game is pretty damn ugh. But it's one of my favorite games. <laughs> Uh, now it's not my favorite, all-time favorite game, Twist Metal Black is my favorite, but Twist Metal 4 is cool. Uh, but off topic, we're talking about Rob Zombie's uh, Dragula. But anyway, that's Dragula. Herman Monster's Color. Now, many people are thinking who... Uh, have never heard Dragula and you're not into heavy metal. Uh, the car is absolutely amazing. Uh, as you've seen the pictures. It's got a... Uh, it's uh, exhaust uh, pipes in the front. And when he's riding uh, that uh, car in the video, I'm just like, hell yeah. That's how you do a video. And his videos are absolutely amazing. Move the laptop a little bit. Yes, I have a laptop. I love uh, computers. I love laptops. I love computer games and everything. And I crank the CD up to pretty much maximum uh, with the volume. That's the back of the CD. And Dracula, pretty much, uh, the song is about a car, um, the car of Herman Monster. And the way the chorus is, uh, it goes, uh, everybody's heard Dracula, so I'm not going to sing the chorus, but it's just... Every time I hear this song, I just get all pumped up. I think of Twist Metal. I think of Twist Metal 3, even though Dragon was not in Twist Metal 3. Um, it's in, uh, I think it might be in Nightmare Creatures 2. I know for a fact it's in Twist Metal 4, but it's that Hot Rod Herman remake. It's cool, but nothing beats the original version. The car goes super fast, and it's on crack super speed, and the song is just fast as hell. The riffs in it are amazing. Ugh. There's so much I can talk about with uh, Dragula. Just imagine you're going down the street, just driving along, just minding your own business, and all of a sudden punk kids end up coming up. Blasting Rob Zombie, and you're just bumping along to it too, smiling, whatnot, and then the car leaves, and you're just like, oh, I was really into that song. Well, every time I hear this song, I bump it like crazy. I'm like, turn it up, please turn it up. I, I love this song. Um. So, yeah. Then it moves right into everybody's favorite song. Living Dead Girl. This was another one of the first uh, Rob Zombie songs I ever heard. Uh, everybody knows it. Everybody loves it. And the first time I heard it was in Bride of Chucky. Yes. Yes. A lot of people hate Bride of Chucky. I like it. My favorite uh, Chucky movie will always be Child's Play 2. But Bride of Chucky, I can understand why people hate it. It's more comedy. They completely ruined the legend of Chucky. And I'm just like, what's all this shit about a talisman and whatnot? What hell, they were running out of ideas. It was the 90s. Everybody was on weed anyways. Um, even to this day, people are doing weed. But, I'm, I'm not really into drugs, but 
Now, if you're into that kind of stuff, cool. Um, I'm not going to knock anybody for it. I actually uh, think weed is cool. Not not cool, but um, I, I think they should legalize it. But anyways, they were on crack when they made that movie. But uh, Loving Dead Girl is based on a movie. Well, the song is based on the movie Loving Dead Girl. It's about a zombie chick, and in the video, it's pretty damn, uh, wicked. Yes, I'm using the term wicked. Um, Rob Zombie is playing the mad doctor. He decides to create, like, an invention of a girl who comes back to life. She's a zombie and walking around looking all badass. Got contacts in her eyes, and it's... The girl is played by Sherry Moon, and she's walking down, and the song, the lyrics, everything works. It, it's like the perfect song. If you want a rock song that is going to make your blood just, ugh, make you feel all tingly inside, this is the song. And, uh, growing up, I never got uh, the song. But pretty much, it's about necrophilia as well. Ugh. Yeah, it's a bad thing to think of, but... Pretty much, the chorus is about necrophilia. Crawl up on me. Sing it to me. Uh, get up on me. Living dead girl. Rob Zombie loves dead women. And he loves his wife, too, Sharon Moon. I think she's really pretty. Uh, I've, I've kind of had a crush on her growing up. But, not anymore. Um, but anyways, the song just mesmerizes me. And I'm like, wow. He's got some pretty awesome rhymes. And he writes his own music. Yeah, he has a person who helps him out, but most of the time he writes his own music. He writes his own lyrics, he makes the beats and everything. Well, doesn't mix them, but... Okay. Living Dead Girl, awesome song, let's move on. Perversion 99. It's pretty much just a beat. Uh, pretty simple. Um... It goes like if you want to hear the song, pick up the CD. Um, it's a short track, uh, no lyrics, just a simple beat. And it goes by pretty fast. Then we get into Demonoid Phenomenon. Or as I call it, Demonoid Phenomenon. Um, Demonoid Phenomenon. It's about possession. And the first time I ever heard Demonoid Phenomenon, I'm just gonna grab the game, the game out again. I already reviewed this game. Whew! Nightmare Creatures 2, my favorite Nightmare Creatures. Get it. Okay. Music by Rob Zombie. I first heard Demonoid Phenomenon in this game. It's the, it's pretty much the title track of this game. When you put the game into your system, it's the first thing you end up hearing. Well, first you end up seeing the axe go by and everything, and then the music pumps up, and you're like, "Hell yeah, this game is gonna be awesome!" And it is. What? Well, Demonoid Phenomenon, about possession, uh, pretty cool riffs, amazing riffs, and the beat goes The video is absolutely crazy. It's a concert video, and you see a lot of kids. Pretty damn awesome video. Ugh, I love that video. 
um, Speak Show Baby. Not much about it. Sex. Uh, kinky girls. Uh, kinky sex and everything. And gothic chicks out there. Um, and pretty much the chorus goes, she's a killer, she's a killer. Speak Show Baby. Um, this, uh, most of this album is played in this, uh, game. Dragula's in it, Perversion 99's in it, Call the Zombies in it, Super Beast, Dragula, Living Dead Girl, Speak Show Baby, Meet the Creepers, in the Ballad of, not the Ballad of the, What Loves on Channel Lex is in it, Return of the Phantom Strangers in it, and the beginning of the end is in this. So, half of the album is in this game. It, it fell into place perfectly. So, yeah. Now, if you're expecting to hear the whole damn song in the game, you are sorely mistaken. You will just hear the beats. Except for with the Demonoid Phenomenon, you end up hearing the beginning of the song, but as soon as it hits the chorus, it just cuts to the title. Nightmare Creatures 2. Uh, Demonoid Phenomenon. Amazing song. I would play the CD, but I don't want to get copyright uh, strikes. Huh. <sighs> Spook Show Baby, like I said, about gothic chicks and kinky sex. How to make a monster. Pretty much experiments going awry. How to create the perfect monsters and everything. And it's a pretty toned down song. There's not really whispers, but you can barely hear it till you turn it up. And it's pretty much Rob Zombie saying, How do I make the monster? How do I make the monster? And then it moves right into this whole album is just filled to the brim with great songs. Whew! It makes me. Feel like going back into the 90s and bumping Rob Zombie. Getting into fights. Now I've never gotten into fights or whatnot, but it just makes me feel like just seeing a fight show, seeing like boxing and real wrestling. Um, I know wrestling is fake, but just it makes me feel like seeing a fight. Meet the Creeper is about a monster. And the video for it is pretty damn cool too, and I hate how people keep on comparing the song to Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft is an alright game. In my eyes, it's alright, but many people like that's their go-to game. They're worshipping the ground that game plays on. But it's not about that Creeper and uh, the game is about a monster called the Creeper. And it's talking about pretty much you better run from it. Because once you meet the Creeper, it's going to kill your ass. And it's also played in the trailer for Jeepers Creepers 2. So pretty damn cool. Played in one of uh, my favorite movies. Well, not in the movie, but it's played during the trailer. Now we get to Ballad of Resurrection Joe and something cool, like a woman with the last name Horn. It's pretty much a ballad. Not a love ballad, but a rock ballad. Um, about a guy who's just a perverse sicko and his girlfriend Rosa. I keep on wanting to say Rosa, but I don't think that's it. But dot 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 or um the song is edited and the chorus goes like now you never hear uh the words of resurrection Joe you know, but you do get yes everybody thanks on the soccer now I'm murdering the song but anyways two bit motherfucker huh they edited the song the shit. But, anyways, let's move on. 
What lurks on channel lips? Pretty short song again. Um, it's just a beat. And then it moves right on to Return of the Phantom Stranger. Mm. The video. Thank. Oh. Yep, it's on this CD. Well, the DVD. Um, open this up. There's the video disc. Uh, Shane Man on the front of Living Dead Girl. And for those teenage boys out there, I might as well show it. Um, yeah, Shane Moon's out of the hand of the king. Every boy wants to see that. Um, every teenage boy, 14 year old boy, uh, lesbian teenage girls out there. Uh, gotta love Shane Moon in the bikini. Well, lingering. But, anyways, uh, the Cherry Moon. Every boy uh, wants to, yeah, uh, going into a little bit uh, of a uh, wet dream right there, but anyways, let's move on. The beginning of the end, pretty much what it says. It's the end track to the song. There's 13 tracks of Cadaverous Cavorting, a.k.a. great song to listen to while you're playing, be it a game, or just trying to make a music video or something. The beginning of the end. It's the end of a perfect, not a perfect album, but a damn great album. I can listen to these songs and just go on a journey of just hard rock, and heavy metal and some of the best rhymes I've ever heard for uh, rock songs. Now, is Rob Zombie my favorite uh, singer in the world? No. But he comes damn close. My favorite band is Led Zeppelin. Yes, I grew up on Led Zeppelin and Led Zeppelin is my all-time favorite band. I can always listen to every one of their songs and not get bored. Stairway to Heaven. Uh, that's my song. Stairway to Heaven is absolutely amazing. It makes me go on a journey. Not really a trip, but uh, a journey that I don't want to ever end. But anyways, Rob Zombie is uh, one of my favorite singers. And this is one damn cool album. It's his first album. It's his first time away from uh, White Zombie and everything. And all I can say, man, you made a fantastic album. And uh, he does some killer artwork. I think he did the artwork. Um, hmm. No, he didn't do the artwork. Yep. Yep, he did do the artwork. Comic pages by Gene the Moon Machine Collins. 1313 painting by Dan the Man Barishan. Cover up by the great Basil Wood. Okay, there's uh, Sherry Moon as Kitty Moon. Uh, pretty cool uh, looking photo. Uh, Speak Show International, a magazine that, uh, I don't know if it's still around, but it's a magazine, uh, done by Rob Zombie and his team of amazing artists, uh, uh look at the band's name, uh, we've got Rob Zombie on vocals, uh, Riggs on guitar, Belasco on bass. And Tempista on drums. Now the band uh, lineup has changed over the years. So yeah, we've got Gingerfish now in, as drummer. We've got um, lead guitar uh, John Five, and those two members are from also from the band Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson's band, Marilyn Manson. 
Uh, here we go. A photo of the living dead girl. Well, not really a photo, a drawing. And Rob Zombie is saying, Ha, the stupid fools. Look at them hypnotized by her. And the living dead girl saying, Yes, my faithful pet. You are mine forever. Hallabilly Deluxe. 13 Tales of Cadavers cavorting inside the Fook Show International. And here's a picture of Riggs and Blasted. Oh. Right there. Okay. I said I was going to show the book out. And so I am. There's a picture of Sherry Moon. Let me focus it. Yep. More eye candy for the guys and lesbian women. Um, I'm not against homosexuality. Um, Tempista, I think that's how he pronounce his name. So, right there. I oh, can't see. Right there. Pretty damn cool. And there's the picture of Rob Zombie saying the lines about uh, Dragula. Not the lyrics of Dragula, but introducing Dragula. Like the song. Rob Zombie by himself, looking uh, awesome as always. And him talking about Super Beast. Again, my favorite song on the album. Uh, I'm just showing this off. Uh, for the people who haven't seen the book list. I know uh, the older folks out there, I'm not calling them old men or anything, or old women. I'm just saying the elders out there, uh, I know you guys don't really care a whole lot about Rob Zombie, but uh, the kids out there, the teenagers, the 20-somethings, they grew up on Rob Zombie and Led Zeppelin and whatnot, and the 40-year-olds love, uh, they've, uh, they like Rob Zombie, but not as much as the great, uh, singers that came before him. Uh, but Rob Zombie, in my eyes, is a fantastic artist. I can go back to his music anytime, uh, I feel uh, like down or anything and he's a damn cool singer and I want to take my girlfriend to see a Rob Zombie show uh, but the thing about it is his shows are pretty damn expensive and fights break out at heavy metal shows and uh, I just want us to be careful out there when we go to see a Rob Zombie show and here's the back of the CD where I'm zombie just being a badass. And I heard he's a pretty damn nice guy in person, so that's good. At least he appreciates his fans. Uh, I forget what movie that robot is from. It's from a Baylor Lugosi movie. And I don't give a fuck what people say. Baylor Lugosi is one of my all time favorite actors. And. He is my favorite uh, Dracula of all time. He played in some damn awesome movies. I enjoy White Zombie, but I will always come back to Dracula. He played a, a small role in The Wolfman, and he's just absolutely amazing. So, Hellbilly Deluxe, what do I give it? A 9 out of 10. One of my all time favorites. But. It comes damn close to past present and future. It's pretty much. Half the songs. On. How Billy Deluxe are on this uh, CD. Meet the Creepers is not on uh, the CD. And the video isn't on the DVD. But. I'll be talking about this CD. Sometime in the future. Don't end it. But anyways guys. That's my. Pretty damn long review of. Hellbilly Deluxe.
Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you made it this far into my video and you enjoyed it, leave a comment. Uh, you don't have to. If you like the video, just show your support. Uh, I'm not asking people to subscribe to me. Like, if you want to subscribe, thank you. Um, I need all I can get. Like, uh, share the video if you want. Uh, if you're a Rob Zombie fan, nice. And if you love heavy metal, awesome. Like, support heavy metal. Support rock and roll. Support music in general. Uh, we need more people out there from today's age to enjoy the music of yesteryear. From the 90s, the 80s, and the 70s, and hell, even the 60s and 50s. I grew up on the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s music. Today's music is, yeah, some of it's alright, but nothing comes close to the 90s and 80s. The closest band I've been able to find uh, from today's age is Five Finger Death Punch. Um, hmm. Slipknot. Slipknot's okay. Um, Kid Crusher, of course. Kid Crusher is absolutely amazing. I would love to get a hold of the CDs, but I don't have the money and I don't use a credit card, so or a debit card. But I would love to get a hold of his uh, CDs, and they're only available on his site. Or if you go to one of his shows, and I don't have the money to go to Australia, man. Ugh, getting a ticket for Australia pretty damn expensive. And, huh, Australia is a beautiful place, from what I'm told. Uh, I, there's a great guy on here, Adam. Uh, I think is his real name, but it was, uh, by the username on YouTube, SpannersGerm669. Check out his videos. He's a damn cool guy. And if you have any questions uh, that you want answered, uh, just go to his channel, comment, ask a question, uh, just be supportive of the guy. He's a damn nice uh, guy on here. And all I can say is enjoy heavy metal, enjoy shock rock, enjoy video games if you're a teenager and 20 year old who likes that kind of stuff, enjoy wearing masks, enjoy horror movies, enjoy horror core, and enjoy music. Enjoy media, but don't take it too seriously. Don't take the lyrics to heart, and don't do anything crazy. That's all I'm going to say. So, anyways, this is Psychopathic One, saying be careful out there, and just have fun. Don't, again, don't do anything crazy. So, anyways, this is Psychopathic One, signing off. See ya!